Hello guys, it's Razor Wheels 2 and today I'm here with a Bandos solo guide. Um, now, you might be thinking, why are you wearing Derox? Well, I will get that into a moment because for me it's the best personal armor I use at Bandos. Now, I figured this method out because I went to Bandos and I lasted two whole tortoises, which are, I think are like 40 minutes ish each so around yeah an hour and a half with only using a brew and a half now that is if you guys know from old runescape that is pretty wicked um that is almost a, that is literally impossible let me rephrase that it is literally impossible now the, the key to this is soul split which uh pretty much you'll be using the whole time to um, heal you up the whole time. So we'll start off with the armor. The Dar We're going to be using full Darox. Nothing to it. Nothing else works. All right. This is the only thing that will hit constantly. And if you keep your he health around half life points, you'll be hitting constant critical damages with this. So um, another thing is. I have Berserker Ring. I think the Warrior Ring is now the uh, melee class. I am too lazy to buy it. And also imbued re excuse me, imbued rings are pre are good. Also, you're gonna want the Ring of Wealth. Bandos boots are steadfast boots. I sold mine. I don't have enough to buy any more. Um, Coleman Answer gloves ten. I don't think the steadfast gloves are gloves anymore. I think they are weapons. So, but if they are gloves, then you can use them. The fire cape or kiln cape, um, pretty much any cape, the best one that you can get, possibly. Uh, Amulet of Fury, not necessary. It's got that nice prayer bonus, and uh, a glory would also work. And vampirism, this also works for a short amount of time. Um, let's see. Oh, well, it's on my chat bar. Well, it's I think it lasts for about an hour. And that'll help you for the first hour of the trip. And with this gear set up, you could at last for at least until you run out of prayer potions. Let's just go with that. Um, as you'll see, I got four tortoise pouches here. I'm only picking up the stackables. I'm picking up nothing else. The um, rune long swords and stuff. Um, and the org bones, I think they're called. I'm leaving on the ground. And I'm only picking up tacits, you know, all the bandos items. That's the reason you're going there. Yes, the others can make you some cash, but then again, I I really don't care right now because <laughs> I got the money. Um, yeah. So for my inventory, I've got the Dominion Stage Three marker. Uh, this will replenish your stats over time, or not over time. No, what what am I talking about? It boosts your stats. Uh to about I think it's uh, around a super potion but not as good as a super potion so it's a little bit under super potion but it works like an overload and it only takes up one inventory slot now one thing to note about this is if you run too far away it'll disappear and when it disappears it'll go into your inventory if your inventory is full it will be sent to your bank so always keep one inventory slot open just you must if you're using this dominion marker keep one inventory slot open at all times because once it gets banked or something it's going to be frustrating because you're not going to be hitting as hard dreadnips they're not necessary they do uh, extra damage to help you get the kill faster not use as much prayer slash food and yeah i got lots of prayer renewals so I can last longer and I got Ceridome and Brews and Super Restores I know Rocktail are also good but I also want that extra defense if I get knocked down too low, too low of life points and in my book low life points is 1300 now you'll see that I'm at 8100 right now so that's pretty low but then again, at that hit points, you know the Darox effect. The lower hit points you are, the more damage you do. So with that soul split, hopefully you can keep even at that life points and hit constant damage. Uh, now for my familiar, I have prayer potions. Literally, that's what you're going to be lasting on 
forever using the soul split and I have some extra brews and restores in case these run out which I kinda doubt they will but I have them anyways and I have two extras because they Bandos does does drop uh, super restores so they're only like four potions uh, four doses excuse me and yeah we'll go from there um, this is going to be literally a full Bandos guide so I'm going to show you where to get case kill oh my gosh KC which is kill count for people who have never gone there before and yeah I'm gonna be going through it all over again so now first thing you wanna do is this is called the um, preserving inventory space thingamadoodle um, <laughs> as you can call it so teleport to Trollheim you'll need five law runes five fire runes and three air runes when you get here you wanna drop three no two serdomen brew flask or anything that's droppable and teleport back to Varrock this is going to use up the rest of your runes now it's key that you don't leave those brews or food whatever you drop there for very long now if I bank here real quick um, go to my potions so you keep the, your runes there to teleport back to Trollheim and fill your inventory with prayer potions and yeah, so there we go. I'm gonna teleport back to Trollheim now. And there we go. Those runes disappeared, and I got my brew flasks. Now, obviously, I left an inventory space open for the Dominion Marker Stage 3. Now, if you have not unlocked the spell for Trollheim, uh, I would suggest unlocking it, but you can bring climbing boots and go through that big hunkin maze which they updated yeah I'm not gonna explain it because I am not going to uh, <laughs> so basically follow the path from here the top of the mountain uh, follow it down going east and you get, come down here you wanna climb over this cliff side and let's see let's go over this cliff side and you wanna look south and climb over these rocks down here and let me run over here and I'm gonna get over to this so next part you wanna if you have low running right now you wanna pause and rest but I'm good right now and we're gonna run up here north now for you guys who have gone to Bandos before you'll know that these troll rangers are thrower trolls will throw rocks at you but they don't do it anymore they're not aggressive so you don't need to prey range now you can either squeeze through or lift the boulder it honestly doesn't matter. Squeeze actually goes faster. Uh, I think the boulder is like 70 strength. I don't know about the other one, but it obviously requires agility. So know if you're like 50 or below agility, then you probably won't be able to have the ability to do it. So once you get here, run north or walk north because your running will be cut short by the icy cold wind, I think they call it. Let's see if I go to game here. Yeah, something like that. So, alright, I'm going to rest here, and I'm going to pause it for the next part of the video for getting kill count. Alrighty guys, we're back for kill count. Now you see in your top left corner here, you have this big kill count bar. Obviously you're going to be going for Bandos. Now I'm still here where you come down from the ladder, and you'll want to run northwest. I repeat, northwest. If you run south or other, any other direction, you won't have any protection against uh, other bosses. Now one thing I forgot to mention in the last clip is you want to bring a Bandos item and a Zamorak item. If when you wear items from the certain god, they will not their minions will not auto attack you. So I since I don't have an Armidal item, Armidal will automatically attack me. So that's why we have to run straight northwest. Now there are certain guys that you want to kill to get 40 kill count and it'll highlight your bar when you've got all 40. So I'm over here in the northwest corner you can hit this big door and go into the Bandos throne room or the easier way is to get kill count on these goblins and now that they're level 120 which is really annoying frustrating but get over it so <laughs> we're gonna start killing these uh, goblins now <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's hurting here. Um, I'm going to tell you about the abilities that I use. 
So, first ability. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. Uh, first ability I use is Slice. The second one is Sever, which is a bleeding ability. The next one is Smash, which requires the two-handed, which you have Darox for. Fury, December, which is also another bleeding effect. And Cleave. Those are all the basic abilities I have. Cleave, you must know, well, it, it's pretty complicated, but it will attack anything that's three squares in uh, front of you, like left to right. So, I'm going to do a little demonstration here. The prayer renewal flask is where I am standing. And then the prayer flasks are where the cleave will hit any guys. So you want to be careful when doing this. When you use the cleave, it'll hit any guys. So if I attack one of the goblins, it'll hit all of the goblins. Now that can work to your advantage or it can work to your disadvantage. You can hit a stronger guy like these orcs, which can do some pretty serious damage and really annoying once they all get on you so well I just killed them see if I use cleave right here the blood build will attack me so just be wary of that um, keep, know what you're pressing as your uh, abilities and there we go and I'm going to speed up the clip from here or I am going to pause it as I get my 40 kill count and I'll be back at the when I get 40. Alrighty guys, I am back with 40 kill count as you can see by the kill count bar at the top of the screen. And if you guys did watch it um, through, which I am going to speed it up, uh, you will see that I use different abilities to heal. And you'll notice right now that I'm at low life points. Low life points is key because you can uh, hit more damage with their ox. So we'll go with that. Now I did not mention the threshold and ultimate abilities that I use. Um, I use the assault. I think that's called assault. Uh, this one is a very good threshold ability. It looks like a hand with a hammer in it because it is literally like Thor. It is awesome. Uh, it hits tons of damage up to three times like the Fury. Next I have Quake as my threshold. This hits in a one square surrounding you in all directions including diagonal so it can help if you're hitting multiple guys that are attacking you if you accidentally missed cle clicked le cleave holy cow I can't talk um, <laughs> next I have slaughter just for a threshold bleed attack that'll hit more damage than the normal sever and december and for healing I have regenerate just get out of combat which you should not be in combat as long as you got your Zamrock gear on the bandos boots or whichever bandos item you are wearing the anticipation to take less damage which pretty good and I have pulverize to do a quick ultimate to one hit them pulverize works better than meteor strike because it does not require the boss to be at 50 percent health or higher and we'll go from there now if you hit this big door right here as long as you have a hammer attached to your tool belt you do not need one in your inventory 
I don't see why you would have one in your inventory then, but that's your choice. Then just run north, east here, and we'll see if this world is open. There was a guy outside earlier, so I don't know. And it seems like there is a team in here, so we're going to leave these guys alone. And I will be right back when I get a world. Alrighty guys, I'm back, and I got myself a world. Well, unless this guy wants to crash me. But anyways, I'm going to go through the tactics. One, you want to start by standing right here, as long as that other guy, yep, he logged. You want to stand here because the Major will spawn right in front of you, and when you use the Quake or Cleave abilities, it will help kill him because he is extremely hard to kill, I have found out. And so he's hard for me to kill at, uh, yeah pretty much we'll just go with that because I can't seem to talk right now I've got my dominion marker out in front of me and yeah, as you can see it's boosted my stats a pretty good amount and when bando spawned you just want to use your dreadnought and start spamming them abilities so you uh, yeah as I'm focusing here just spam these abilities get them out make sure you get the full effect of abilities like fury because they take three hits uh, before they actually well they do damage each hit and you don't want to stop it early or you're not going to be doing the damage now I've got them to about quarter health here and soul split is keeping me up high on HP so I'm going to put the ring of wealth on and I'm going to turn soul split off believe it or not so I can actually take more damage so I can do more damage if that makes sense because when if you remember, Darox, when you're lower hit points, you do more damage. So, you want to keep low hit points, and when you want to turn Turmoil or any other boosting stats off after the kill, and you want to use Soul Split to heal back up. Now, don't use your ultimate on the minions, because, as you can see, I just slaughtered them. It, it was nothing. Um, so, you just want to keep killing the minions, and I'm going to be using the altar after here. And there we go. Come on, die. This is once again where the major is really annoying. Just will not die. That's why you try to kill them during the fight with the uh, cleave abilities, but you'll still be attacking Bandos. But because, as I showed you earlier with the vials I dropped on the ground, it um, hits a multiple multi target area. And so that's good f to help kill him. And there we go. I've got him down. As you can see, I'm pretty low life points. And there's a lot of stuff on the ground. So you want to pick up the coins to help add to your money pouch. And use regenerate here. Use some shark to heal up. Along with everything else. And now we're going to eat this. Remember, you have to want recall this. Must have one inventory slot open. And this guy wants to crash me. I don't know why. I'm like four times this level. There we go, got my stuff back, and let's continue attacking them. As I get my dreadnip out, we're going to compete against this guy, and just keep following my steps, and you will literally, yeah, it's always the same combat level as me. Well, this ought to be a fight. Prepare to lose, man. This is, I'm going to show you guys how to win. And always win. And yes, I am 180 combat in the new system. If you guys did not know, I, you probably don't care. But if you're wondering, for my combat level, how hard can I hit? I can hit pretty darn hard. Uh, as you can see, tons of criticals are going on on Bandos, and he's dying pretty fast. When you do get guys coming in here trying to rush you, this is use as many threshold ultimate abilities, everything to get deal the most damage on Bandos before they can. And there we go, he's dead. We'll see if I got the drop. I did not get the drop. Well, that pisses me off. Um, <laughs> but congrats to that, dude. Screw you. I'm making the video. You're not. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, in the description, I'll put more information on what can be useful to use during the fight, familiars, and other things.